Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. Once you have made a connection to a data source of a specific type under the Create New Connection folder, you will see the new connection that you have made to the data source displayed. You can click the small plus sign next to the listed data source connection to view the various types of objects within the database. Also, with some types of databases to which you can connect, some of the tables may not be accessible based on your user ID and data access privileges. Otherwise, you should see any tables, commands, views, and stored procedures that are available for the type of data source to which you have made a connection. Note that if you wish to add another connection of the same type, you can double-click the Make New Connection command above the currently established data connections displayed within that folder. That will then launch another connection dialog box where you can create another connection of that same type. When you're viewing a data source connection, you may see commands which allow you to create custom SQL or structured query language statements drawn from the data which can then be used as the data source for a report. And you should also see any available tables from the data source listed. These are the base tables in the data file which contain all of the database information within their rows and columns. And these are often referred to as the physical tables in a relational database. In addition to the base tables that you can access for your reports, you may also see views that are available for use. Views are a construct of the relational model of data storage and act in many ways as the base tables do. However, views do not actually store any data. They are simply preset queries which always pull the same data from the underlying base tables and display it in the same way. These are often referred to as logical tables in a relational database and are typically created by the database administrator to facilitate report generation. Views will typically show information from related base tables in a single location, making it easier to show data from multiple tables. Stored procedures are similar to views in that they display data, but they do not contain data themselves. The main difference between views and stored procedures is the complexity of the SQL code used to generate the displayed data. Also, you may have different programming languages other than SQL used within a stored procedure. However, they will always display some sort of result set or data file in the end, much like the base tables or views, and thus stored procedures are also often used for reporting purposes. In order to add a table to a report, expand the tables in the data connection so that you can select the name of the table which you would like to add to the report. Then click the single right pointing arrow in the middle of the database expert dialog box to move the table into the selected tables list at the right side of the dialog box. You can add multiple tables if necessary for the report. Note that if you add more than one table, the Links tab appears at the top of the Database Expert dialog box. You use this tab to set the connections and relationships between the data in the selected tables. We will examine linking the tables in a report in a later section. For now, just note that once you've selected the necessary tables for the report, you can click OK to set the selected table or tables as the source of data for your report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free.